Hello everyone, welcome back and I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. Myself Priya and currently I'm a med student and I scored 616 in NEET 2022. And in this video, we are going to discuss everything about bio and how to score 360 out of 316 bio NEET. Also, I have created a playlist for NEET preparation strategy. You can definitely check it out that. And for now, let's begin with this video. So firstly, I will start with the NCRT. Why? Because NCRT gives an excellent head start and it has the most condensed material. Plus, we all know almost all the questions in NEET are directly from the NCRT. It's an undefinable fact. And NEET biology paper is of 360 marks and half of the exam is just of the two books that is 11th and 12th NCRT book. So it's like you already know half of the paper. Now the thing is how to start the preparation. So as I said, you already know half of the things. Now the remaining half, I will guide you in this video. Okay, so the first thing is read NCRT. Now this is the first step and this is the most important thing. If you have something in your mind, like you'll read NCRT afterwards, first you'll read your coaching modules, then some toppers notes, and then at the end you'll read your NCRT. So this is not going to work and this is a wrong approach because NCRT will help you to build a strong foundation for scoring a great rank and if you have previous year question papers you can see neat question papers is based on the concept of ncrt only most of the questions are also asked directly from ncrt so if your basics are proper and if you read ncrt thoroughly you can definitely score above 350 and as i mentioned it's easy to score high in biology with relatively less effort as compared to physics and chemistry now the thing is how to read ncrt so ncrt is not a newspaper that you can read and move on but ncrt is loaded with concepts that you'll have to unreveal along the way for example you have to understand how bryophyte gymnosperm and angiosperm reproduce you can't just read and not soak up the essence of these concepts and then hope to answer the questions correctly so you have to understand each and every hidden meaning of the concept now what i mean by understand the hidden meaning of concepts so this will happen only if you read ncrt multiple times every time when you read a concept again and again you'll get to know something new about it so ncrt's multiple reading is also very important another thing is do not find logic in few topics there are some parts that are not very logical like in morphology of plants you have to learn tons of examples with characteristics of different inflorescences few more topics which are anatomy of plants animal kingdom plant kingdom microbes in human welfare strategy of enhancement of food production table in biomolecules and sexual reproduction in flowering plants are those topics where you don't have to waste your time finding logic. Just memorize all the important things and then keep revising them. Now another thing is how to revise these topics or chapters. Just do one thing extract all the keywords examples etc and write them on a paper and paste them on your wall so that you can read them every day initially it might feel boring to read same thing again and again but this is going to help you in those last minute revision time so once you're done with reading ncrt it is very important to keep revising ncrt now how to revise ncrt so i will share the steps to revise ncrt but before that you can also use this book from disha publication this is handbook of biology in in this book you'll get complete ncrt in one liner format and this book is amazing for quick revision this comes in set of three books physics chemistry and bio you'll get all ncrt's key point terms definition and formula in this unique one liner format this book are divided into 28 to 38 chapters which follows the ncrt topical flow a unique feature of this book is the inclusion of past year neat question in one liner format another unique feature is the exam special section where important tips tricks and techniques are provided in one liner format to sharpen your problem solving skills this book contains lots of diagrams to grasp the concept easily and quickly this book is the complete coverage of syllabus and mapped with ncrt and this book will definitely help you to improve your score by 10 to 15 percent also it's useful for neat as well as class 11th 12th cbse and other state boards too and this book is useful for last three to four months of preparation so i will definitely suggest you guys to try this book the link of this book is given below in description make sure to check it out now let's talk about notes 
while i was preparing for my exam i tried quite a few methods which includes keeping a separate notebook for lecture notes adding ncert points to lecture notes keeping different notebook for important lines another notebook for my mistake but there's one method which helped me to score 350 plus in neat 2022 and what was that method i already have created a separate video about note making you can watch it from the playlist of neat preparation strategy or i will also give the link in description i have also shown my personal notes in that video so you can watch that for note making also few things i want to share here is since neat question includes direct lines of ncert which means it is extremely important to read ncert as many times as possible the problem arises when you have to read notes ncert and some modules in a short duration of time for a test so the best way according to me is to note down everything you feel to be important in your ncert whether it's important point from lecture notes or mistakes you made in mocks and basically anything you feel that could be asked in neat and stuff that is frequently asked in your coaching or online exams you can also stick empty pages on ncert and write on them the benefit of doing this is you have to read only two books for biology which is 11th and 12th ncert in case you are running low on time you can only read the main ncert text plus highlighted points of what you written in the empty space the only issue is it takes up a lot of time to add all the important points from the lecture notes but trust me this method is worth it and now once you are done with concept understanding revision and notes and everything now it's time to solve previous year questions previous year questions boost up your confidence towards your preparation the question given in previous year papers are those questions which are the selected one from the important topic so you will get a rough idea that what topic are to be studied with more focus while solving those previous year question papers you feel more attentive and cautious and pay more attention to the concepts cuz subconsciously you know that the question you are solving is more likely to come in exam because these papers are designed particularly in a graded fashion like there are questions that are easy difficult and more difficult so the check your grasp on that topic at different level so try to do at least pass 10 to 12 years pyqs and with that that's it for today guys i hope this video will help you in your preparation and i hope you enjoyed if you have anything you want to ask me or if you have any video suggestion do let me know in the comments section and thank you so much for watching i'll see you all on my next video till then bye bye and stay safe